to the first episode of my let's play on my server. It's a server. Yes. Um, well, for the first episode, I already failed. I built this, I thought, on camera. But I didn't. I muted my mic. Well, I'll be sure that it won't happen again. So, yes. <sighs> this is my area. It's a f uh, three forest hill biome. Yes, forest hill. And um, I'm going underground. I'll show you how this door works in a second. I'll just demonstrate it right now. A water elevator that goes down. That water is probably way too loud. There we go. It's just a drop down on a pressure plate. Door opens. Yeah, that's it. And this is going to be <laughs> my base. <laughs> this first couple episodes will be me just shaping this area and digging it out um, it's going to be a big open cave like structure with everything you need in it so yeah um, for what I've got here I have a house at spawn that I recorded me building but didn't work out as well but here are my tools that I'm going to use to dig everything out. So yeah, let's start. I don't know if I I probably show updates of what I'll be doing or how far I've gone. Um oh wait before that let me show you the door. It's I think this whole area is thirty blocks high or deep. Don't know how wide it's going to be but it will be pretty big. So yeah, my door. It's a pretty simple door. Um, I th think I can go in right here. Uh, no, I can't. shares on me right now. So this will do. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So it's 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 a mess, I know. But it works and that's what's matter what matters. So we have a water source block up there with a with two pi with a piston door kind of setup. Um, it's two pistons because um, you don't get the dripping effect. And then it's just an orange Norlax with a one, two, three, five. Uh, five repeaters. I thought it were six, but all in full delay. And then we have the piston door that sh shuts behind you when you get in so the water don't doesn't um, spill out everywhere that's also just an RS knowledge with I think six one two three four five six seven repeaters on full delay and then the piston right here that pulls the block under your feet and that's on one two three four five repeaters on full delay it's pretty simple but it does what it's supposed to do, and I like how it works. Why won't those leaves stick? Oh. Okay, if people could explain me why these aren't the same, that would be pretty cool because. Yeah. They. <laughs> Let me. Wait. 
came from here. Even to my eyes, they look pretty much the same. So yeah, I'll be doing well, sort of time lapse thing, I guess, or just um, showing you the updates. I'll probably do some TNT blasting if I get TNT. Yeah, that's uh, for now. It will be uh, long work, and uh, yeah, I should get started. See you guys when I update this. And welcome back. As you can see, I've dug out a pretty big chunk, and I thought this these sides. I will remove these wooden scaffolding, but I thought this was a bit land so I made this water feature which is also a infinite spring that goes all the way from the ceiling until to here and um, I'm not sure um, I think I need to see it with the scaffolding removed and with two of them but yeah this is how far I am now I still need to dig, I think, about 10 blocks that way and 30 blocks that way, so I need to dig out a lot. And the cobble I got right now is this, is what I got from just digging out this big pit. This is the gravel and dirt. And uh, let's see, there. I got some coal, iron, and only two gold. So yeah, I'll, uh, it takes a long time, and a lot longer than I thought it would take, but I'm getting there. I don't know if I want to finish this bit of the wall first, or dig this all out before I start making it look good, but um, yeah. I think for now I should just make it symmetrical so that it looks the same. I have my glowstone and my wood. Oh wait, I don't have any more stone brick. Uh, I need to make a furnace. I used all the stone brick I had from my spawn town house in here, so... I don't even have a crafting tool. I just came in here, start started digging, digging. Man, English is hard. And uh, well, you see where I am now, <laughs> digging a hole in the ground. Let's make eight, so I can cook a lot of stuff. Oh. So yeah, I'm not sure what to put on the side walls I'm thinking of making some bridges and stuff to make uh, rooms for um, animals storage and all that kind of um, well it beans and then on the end wall uh, far away I will make a day and night sensor with uh, redstone lights lamps so when it's nice <laughs> yeah you someone stole from being I'm trying to figure out who it did but um, <sighs> just warn him that he doesn't say anything yeah um, I will put a round sun kind of dial sort of thing there so when it's night it turns dark and when it's day it turns light ah oh man that's so annoying the thunder but yeah let's make uh, the place of furnace and start making the second fountain oh miss Like I don't have enough cobble already, but yeah, let's let's cook two stacks. One, two, 
one sec, it's okay to it's just a one sec. For now that should be more than enough and I'll be right back when I get the the st stone stair, stone brick stairs. It's okay, okay, we're back. See the stone is almost done cooking. Should have enough right now to make some stairs. Should be more than enough. Nine, I think. Ooh. Give me those. Okay. So I don't know if I should be recording this, but I think it's a pretty important step in the design of my base. It's always just trying stuff out, seeing how it looks, and then replacing if it doesn't look good, and just keep it if it does look good <laughs> but these fountains or water features I don't know what I'm supposed to call them but yeah they're, in my opinion they are pretty important because if you don't have some other colors in your base then just one like if, if I didn't put those in it would just be a you have to remember the wood is going away or I might just do some wood stuff in there but then you have grey on grey on glass and that would be pretty boring so I'm trying to put some color in with this just some blue then here some wood and then light just to make it look a bit more yeah more more um, more happy <laughs> and not so dull because as I did on the outside with the leaves, I will be doing that on the inside too, so it will look kind of like an abandoned temple or something like that. So there will be m some green in this and I might, yeah, I, I think I need to add some, some brown too to, to make it all look a bit more cheery and less boring. Yeah, just just the simple things like even though it serves no purpose at all. Well, a water feature, in my opinion, does serve a purpose because you can have a infinite spring in it. Oh. I shouldn't use my fortune pick for that. That's why I try to incorporate water features everywhere in my base to have almost an infinite supply of water it doesn't matter where you are it should be infinite right now there we go um, I need some normal cobble stairs cobblestone stairs cobblestone stairs it's pretty strange because it isn't really stone it's, this is stone that's cobblestone you should change that in my opinion so it's let's see um, one, two, three from the wall. I don't want to have it, uh, I don't want to miss the, the center. Because then it will look a bit strange. And I'll have to go back up and do it again. Okay, let's see. It is, oh god. One, two, three from this wall. One, two, three, one, two. That's not right. Let's let's see what I did on the other side. Okay, there's a stair there. Oh wait, yeah. A stair right there. And that's one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, and then the fourth block is a stair air block. So one, two, three. That one. Is that right? Don't know. Two, three. Yeah, that's right. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see if I can place it there. I need it to be upside down. Oh, come on. There we go. But I have one problem. I don't have enough stone stairs right now here. So I have to go down and grab it. Grab the ones that fell down. I think I'll survive. Not even a bit of damage. I love my feather falling boots. I think there should be some glowstone in the middle of that too, but I don't have any on me right now. But I can go to the nether and get some more anytime I want. There we go. Ow, I did get damage now. Let's see, did I hit it in the center? I did! Let's go. Go get her. Yeah, I think it does something for the room. I think I'll keep it. Uh, let's get some glowstone. And I can show you my another portal. I don't think I showed it. Man, my memory is so bad. Then again, there's been a couple hours between me starting this and me now going up to the nether to get stuff yeah eventually i make a better exit than this probably if it works a uh, minecart elevator or a piston elevator but yeah piston elevators are pretty buggy in smp so not sure if i want to do this so yeah it's my portal it's not much but it fits the theme. I'm not sure if I want to move my portal into my base or make different portals for my base. Yeah. Oh wait, I didn't make a way down to the nether yet. That should work. I don't want it here. Um. Oh well, never mind. Just. I'll go down here. I hear fire. I should be close to be... Oh, God. Is there an invisible block? Yeah. So annoying. Okay. Where is the nether? I should be getting close right now. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. This is a c nether cave. Let's see if it connects to the outside. Oh. That it needs to connect to the outside because there's some glowstone right here. Um, I've heard different rumors about this that you get more glowstone pieces if you use silk touch than with fortune. Let's see how many have we here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so there, if I use Silk Touch on 6, one, oh god, two, three, four, five, six. so there's 1, 2, 3, four, five, 6 left. And if I use Fortune on that, let's see how much we get. Let's see. I got 30. And 30 equals. Oh, 
you get more with fortune. I'll keep using fortune picks for that. Because, okay, I have one big problem right now. Um, I was able to see the glowstone from where I got down. I probably got down from there. And if I didn't, I might have a problem. Oh, wait, I remember this. Here we go. I still I will make a proper way into the nether pretty soon, but for now this is good enough. <laughs> Just need to get this close up fast so I can put it where it belongs. And end this episode. It's probably a real short episode, but it's just digging and digging and digging. It's not much I can do right now. Uh, I shouldn't use the water elevator because I need to be up here. Yeah, let's dig that one out if I can reach it. I can. There we go. Now let's see if I put. Uh, yes, I put. Oh, we gift. Well, if I got a gift, then I should be getting it on. Ooh, let's go to spawn and see what that gift is all about. I love gifts. Let's go to spawn. I want to know what this gift is and open it with you guys. Well, um, <laughs> I will probably cut out me riding the nether because I think it's over a 10 minute ride. But yeah, I'll be right back. See you soon. Okay, there and there is the nether hub. <laughs> it wasn't a 10 minute ride, I think it was more like 3 minutes, but still. It's a pretty long ride. Ooh, I should harvest that. I know <laughs> you can grow it in the overworld right now, but I was building this and I thought, why? I have the nether rack, uh, nether rack, nether ward, so why not plant it while I can? This is probably going to be another way down to more levels, so I need to, to customize my display case, but so we have more rails. And I need to put my name on there. Yeah. That's the nether hub. <laughs> I don't know if I ever showed spawn. I don't think so. Lag. Okay, there we go. Load. This is the community center. Just some animals, wheat, and all that stuff you need in the beginning. Some storage, and a place where everyone can sleep. And there is the are the nether portals. This is spawn. Let's run to my house real fast. I think there was a new message. S I already gave the seed of this map. Um. Yeah, those were already there. There's my house. It's not really um, my design. I saw it on a Jamsy Boy video. I'll put a link in the description below. And he's fiddling around with Gothic now. Gothic style uh, houses. Not Gothic as a lifestyle, but the architectural style Gothic. And let's see, where is this gift? I need to eat. I wonder if it's inside my house or in the garden. Um, it's not in my kitchen. But yeah, he made that a really, really awesome house, and I kind of wanted to know more about the how he built it and what he might have been thinking while building it. So I thought, 
why not recreate it or follow his tutorial to see how he is it supposed to be like that I guess well um, so yeah and, and that, that's something I really like is people who build stuff and put up tutorials if if you follow those tutorials ah uh, no I'm going to die if you follow them while building it you learn so much oh crap you, you learn where to place blocks all different kind of styles and just some people say it's stupid to to use tutorial houses as a house in your your world but in my opinion if if you use a tutorial you learn more than you could ever learn when you are just messing around on your own yeah I really like this house so I build it let's go upstairs maybe it's in the living room it's not in this one not here hmm maybe it's downstairs in the storage room I still need to transfer all the stuff I have in my storage room right here didn't have the time yet but I will one day hmm. was it a sticky piston? yes I think those were from a jungle temple Or I need glasses or lenses, or I'm being just plain stupid. Hmm. Am I really that stupid? nothing in here he's probably not going to answer oh I walked right past that <laughs> oh god let's run back I feel so stupid right now. I walked right past that without even paying attention. Oh, I see some glass. Is that the dragon egg? If it is, then my texture pack is failing. Yeah, it is the dragon egg. And I touched it. I shouldn't have. I'm so stupid. Oh, there it is. My texture pack is being a bitch. So they beat the dragon. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, okay. I don't have any pistons on me, so... Uh, let me put a sign next to it. I moved it. Okay. There we go. Let's... That. There we go. It's pretty cool. Let's um, end the episode right here on that. Yeah. See you all next time. I'll probably dig out a lot more of my underground temple, cave, build, 
thing so we can start doing some real stuff. Yeah. See you all later.